The Boss Baby returned in 2021 with Family Business, a follow-up to the surprise hit of 2017. Here's a breakdown of the film's strengths and weaknesses. He film expands on the Templeton brothers' bond, throwing them into hilarious situations as they become adults and toddlers again. Introducing Tim's young daughter, Tina, voiced by Amy Sedaris, as a secret agent baby adds a fresh twist. Jeff Goldblum's villainous Dr. Evil-inspired baby is another entertaining addition. The animation remains cute and colorful, with slapstick humor and sight gags keeping things lively. Despite the silliness, the movie emphasizes the importance of family, cherishing childhood, and embracing brotherly love. The story, while fun, can feel predictable and lacks the originality of the first film. Some plot threads are rushed or abandoned. Several reviewers felt family business wasn't quite as strong as the original. Jokes might land a little flat for adults, and the animation on a slightly smaller budget is noticeable. The Boss Baby Family Business is a perfectly enjoyable sequel for a family movie night. It offers laughs, a positive message, and good animation. However, it doesn't quite recapture the magic of the first film. If you enjoyed the original Boss Baby, Family Business delivers more of the same humor and heart, albeit in a slightly less inspired package. Some critics found the talking baby concept to be inherently strange, regardless of the film's execution. Opinions are divided on whether this sequel surpasses or falls short of the original. It depends on your expectations. If you enjoyed the first film and want another dose of lighthearted family fun, family business might be worth a watch. But if you're looking for something more innovative or emotionally resonant, you might want to look elsewhere. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, or press bell icon.